who should you pick for your Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing on Smith Lake? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you like this kind of content, please do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and I really do appreciate it. Finding information on Smith Lake is really tough because they have not, the leets have not been there in some time. And like I've always said, I'm a statistical person. I like to look at numbers to find out who I think will do the best. And in this case, it's really tough to find information and tournaments on Smith Lake. But what I do know is that Smith Lake has a really good population of bass and probably an even better population of spotted bass. And it's a very clear water lake and anglers that like clear water and like spotted bass fishing or locals are going to be some of the favorites here. And let's make it real clear, back in 2021 they had an open here and the two anglers who finished first and second were Jacob Prosnick and Nick LeBrun. And both those anglers won using forward facing sonar, but that was in October. A lot of anglers fished with whopper ploppers or spinner baits or finesse fishing worms. There's a lot of docks and brush piles. So you're, we're gonna see a good mix of forward facing sonar and other anglers fishing shallow. But when it comes down to it, forward facing sonar is probably gonna play a pretty big role in this week's tournament. But in group A, we have some really incredible anglers, including Wesley Gore, Justin Hamner, John Cox, who finished second in an FLW event years ago, Jordan Lee, who's probably the heavy favorite. I think Mr. I think Jordan Lee is Mr. Consistency in 2024, even though Trey McKinney has really been unbelievable. But Jordan Lee has a 34th or 37th, excuse me, in 2019, and then a 17th in 2021. Patrick Walters is also in this group, and he finished 36th in the 2021 Open. And of course, the current Angler of the Year and Rookie of the, of the Year, Trey McKinney, is in this group. Now, it's really, really hard to not take Jordan Lee here, but... In this case, I really like John Cox. I like John Cox when he was down here in Florida and fishing the way that he fishes. And I think this is just another tournament that John has a really good opportunity to win. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking Jordan Lee, to be honest, because that's what a majority of the people are going to do. But, and for me, John Cox is the guy I take here. Only because that second in the FLW shows that he knows how to fish here, that he's going to be okay, and that beating the bank can get him the right fish to be in contention to win. In group B, we have Will Davis Jr., which is probably going to be the favorite. He is an Alabama angler. Brandon Palahniuk, who finished 26th in 2019. We had Wes Logan, who finished 120th in 2018, but is another guy that is in the mix uh, of people that we should look at. We have Justin and Justin Atkins, who finished 63rd in 2019 and then 18th in 2018. And Logan Parks, who's an Alabama guy. In this case, now I think a majority of people are going to take Brandon Palahniuk because he is just exceptional forward-facing sonar and fishing beating the banks. But I think this is where anglers who are a local is going to have the knowledge of where those brush piles are or the good docks to fish. So Will Davis Jr. or Logan Parks is the two that I think are the favorites or should be looked at the hardest here. And for me, I'm going with Logan Parks. I just think he's just fishing really exceptional, and I like Logan here more than anyone. In Group C, you have Coyota Fujita, Taco Ito, Ben Milliken, Kyle Welcher, and uh, Gussie. And a Kyle Welcher is probably the overwhelming, really heavily favorite here. I don't think it's wrong to go with Kyle Welcher here because this is his kind of fishing. He knows the area, can do well. I think Gussie is a solid pick here too. I'm not sure about Milliken. I don't know what's happened with him and when he goes to a new place it does seem like he has struggles on one of the couple early days but he's going to use forward facing sonar as well as anybody and there's that has a big that'll play a play a big part of how the fishing here is but so does Taku Ito and uh, Kyoto Fujita both those guys are very forward facer sonar dominant anglers and in this case I'm taking Taku Ito because I just think he's just one of those guys that can win anywhere at any time and I think he'll find some place offshore to use his, his sonar and will have a steady flow of decent bass a decent spotted bass and I like him in Group C. Group D has a few anglers that are really up there. David Gaston, Kenta Kamira, Joseph Webster, and Clark Wendlet. Now Webster and Gaston are both 
Alabama anglers. Both should be put ahead of everybody else. I don't remember who's the favorite in this group, but I imagine but I imagine one of those two anglers that are from Alabama are going to be the favorites. This one was tough for me. I think you can go either way with any of those four guys. I think Gaston's good, Camure is amazing, and I think Webster's good too. For me, I like David Gadsden here because I just think he's on a little bit of a roll, and I don't think he should be this far down. I say that every time I do one of these things. There's people that I'm really confused that they're that, that far in the in the fantasy fishing rankings. And I don't think David Gadsden should be here. So David Gadsden's my pick for Group D. And in Group E, you have Scott Canterbury, Joey Fuentes, you have Brian Smith, and then of course Gerald Swindle. Gerald should not be here. Gerald's having a bad year, and Gerald is an Alabama angler that's going to do great here. I think it's all right to take Gerald here because Gerald should be a B or a C angler, to be honest. But it's just not, like I said, he's not having a real good year. I like Joey here. I think Joey Salentes is amazing. And I think he's going to take this one without question. I think he knows this forward-facing sonar. He can fish the banks. He can do all of it. And it should be fun to see where he is at after this tournament. So those are my picks. What picks are you taking in your fantasy fishing for Bassmaster on Smith Lake? I'd like to know. So comment below and tell me which which anglers you're taking. Thanks for watching. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you for becoming part of the team. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.